Hi everyone, it's Gillian back um, bringing you my efforts for day three of the 12 days of Digits 2020 challenge for by Cara Brandon and dear Judy Julie. Um, day three was fun. Um, I kind of had a little bit of a mental block. I knew that um, I was going to be making a bookmark out of Father Christmas I re because it's quite tall um, and um, I've, I've put backed him onto two layers to make him really sturdy and I just thought he'd make a really nice um, bookmark. At the moment he's just backed and inked at the edges but I do intend to like hang a dangle from his hat um, to just jolly him up a bit more and put a, some sort of glitter like a star or something at the top of the tree. Um, so I will continue and do that. Um, this I decided that I really in um, Cara's um, collage sheet I decided I didn't really want to use it as a whole sheet I wanted to tear into it I particularly liked this <clears throat> Father Christmas image with, with the children the um, the lady that I'm making this journal for I think will really like that image so I decided to make this as the front cover um, so as you can see I've um, I've used some craft card <clears throat> as the outer cover it's nice and firm um, and it's it's kind of almost a greeny gold it's um, which I think goes lovely with the colors in this these kits um, again I've done layering I've got um, tea dyed paper first um, then more of that script that I printed out um, the book page vintage book page that I used is actually from um it's got a new year story on it but I thought I really loved this I can't remember what those types of letters are called um illuminated letters I think they're called which look even better when they're all in bright color but I just loved it and I thought it went so well so tore out the element from the page um layered that in as well with the music paper that's a little element um, which I thought again is perfect for the front and the um, green and gold tartan is pure silk it was in um, I got um, for the first time I received um, a random act of kindness sort of like happy mail bundle um, from a lady called Liz Smith um, totally out of the blue totally unexpected really loved opening it seeing all the lovely bits inside um straight away thought i'm going to use the red and green in here because as i've mentioned lots of times they're not my colors so um that's here and i've got another piece about double that size which i'll also use through the journal um so that was kind of um i i thought i'd finished on day three doing those two but then for ages i've been wanting to experiment with folding pockets from a book page so sort of concertina in it up um, so I thought I'd try it and use pieces from the um, Cara's um, sheet her day, day three sheet so I've done it as you can see I, I, um, I've layered them like that in my mind I thought that you could then use the back but when you turn over to the back, the, the tucks would be much too small and not that easy to use. So I've decided to just use them as is, which gives two nice pockets there. And what I'll do is attach them to pages um, just down the side and the bottom. So then that will be three, three places to put documents and um, ephemera, whatever. So there's that one. And that one all from that um that one page and there's still bits and pieces left um there was um a lovely piece of ephemera in on um the digi from julie um but i just 
for, for this, I didn't use it for this, but when I finish the days, I will definitely be using all the rest to complete the journal that I'm making. Um, so there you are, day three done. Um, I'll upload all of these as I go. I did think, oh, I could swap around and do, like, I could make day six if I wanted to and just wait and, and um, air that later. But actually, it feels a bit more of a challenge to just do them in order and get inspiration from each day as I go along. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm sure everyone's got their own way. So there you are. There's my day three. Um, I look forward to seeing you all again on day four. Take care. Bye.